Hello Foot Fixer, this is Marianne Yao, aka Miss Foot Fixer, and today we are removing some callus uh, from a person that has genetic condition causing palmo plantar keratoderma. Here I am using a 22 blade to remove large section of the callus. Not only is it easier to remove the callus, but also it saves time. Usually I take around an hour and a half for this patient. So if I was using a smaller blade, it would take a lot more time. Have you noticed where the calluses are located? If so, comment below. Here I am using uh, my gorge blade, uh, my scoopy blade, my favorite blade on the planter surface of the hallux and you can see how easily it is to remove that callus.
have some callus at the apex of the fifth toe. You can see that these are forming in between the toes too, so we have callus in between the toes. Why do you think callus forms in between the toes? Comment below. I always feel like the gold blaze is perfect for in between the toes because it cuts into the skin a lot less. You can also use the scoopy blade to remove thick nails. Here I'm kind of chipping away the uh, thicker nail using a nippers and then just finishing off with my scoopy blade. Sometimes you need help, you know, sometimes you holding a blade and, and trying to separate the toe with one hand doesn't do the trick. So I'm very lucky that I have Stephanie that can assist me spread the toes and allow me to make my job a lot more easier. For those who are solo practitioners, I guess you just adapt, tape the toe back, do things that you can use to help it. But I have Stephanie, so I'm very, very lucky. Thanks for watching Foot Fixers. Remember to like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell to stay in the loop. Check me out on all the other platforms too, at Miss Foot Fixer. I'll see you soon.